first thing you need to do is be safe. Disconnect the appliance or turn off the breaker to avoid electric shock. Hello guys, today we're going to be working on a side-by-side -side GE refrigerator. The model number is on the display. The problem that we have with this refrigerator is that it's making a rattling noise when people are trying to get water. If you want to move this cover, this is the filter housing, just press where those arrows are, twist the filter out, and this is the cover the um, customer already have removed. I got a slow motion, that's what you have to press to release, and then it's a male to female on this side, and it will come right out. After you remove the cover and the filter, we're going to do a test here, and you're going to see a little tip there. If you press down that little tip, you will see water shooting out. I got the footage in slow motion and you see it was shooting out water. Go ahead and put a rack to avoid making a mess. Now we're going to go ahead and pull the refrigerator out to get to the back of the refrigerator. Just work your way out. Uh, be careful if you're working in some areas where it's marble or anything that can get damaged go ahead and close your water valve go ahead and be careful when you close this water valve sometimes if that water valve breaks it's going to be water all over the place so go ahead and hold it with one hand if you feel like it has tension on it and then with the other one uh, go ahead and close the water valve now we're going to go ahead and grab two crazy wrench or two um i believe is 10 millimeter ratchets and then i use two crazy wrench because it's easier for me and then just disconnect the water line from the refrigerator now we're going to go ahead and grab a 516 bit put it in a drill or you can use a 516 um, screwdriver and remove all the screws that holds this bottom back panel When you remove the screws, just move the panel out of the way and then follow the water hose that goes to the water valve, get it loose and remove it from the water valve. Now when you have this situation, it makes a rattling noise. This is the new part number on the display. Um, as I was saying, when you try to grab water, it will make like a rattling noise and something like ta -ta 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 -ta. I'm sorry guys I know it sounds funny but I'm just trying to create that sound I couldn't put the our original audio on this video because I have to respect the um, customer's privacy uh, for some reason the customer already have removed this piece which it, it covers the water hose in the back but it's very easy to remove It's one quarter bit on your drill just remove those two screws and it will come right off and then you're gonna see some putty, some plumbing putty, um, just insulating these water hoses. Just remove that putty, then get it loose, and then go to the other side where your filter housing is. This is our new filter housing. We're gonna go ahead and use our one quarter bed and remove the two screws that are on top of the um, filter housing just remove those two one quarter screws and you will be able to remove and pull out the whole filter housing with the water hoses which is one piece remove this piece of styrofoam because the new one does not bring one and put it on your old one if the, your existing one doesn't have one don't worry about it that shouldn't affect anything go ahead and fill in your water hoses through the hole same way you remove the other one and I don't have this little part in uh, this part in the video but on the bottom of the housing you got like two little tooth those goes to a two little hoses on the bottom and the two screws on the top Now I'm trying to sit this housing in place. So I'll come to this side and try to make sure it's in the right position and try to help myself to sit it in place any other 
um, side of the refrigerator. Now I can see where it's sitting in place. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this piece, the two little tooth on the back on the bottom, are in place, and the two screws on the top align with uh, where the other one was. What I'm trying to say is make sure that it sit in place correctly. Now grab your uh, one quarter screws and with your drill or screwdriver, go ahead and uh, go ahead and install your two screws and the filter housing to secure it in place. After you do that, just make sure the screws are installed correctly. Now go ahead and put the piece of styrofoam that you removed from the other housing. And go ahead and put the putty where it should be to avoid any air, hot air go in this part of the uh, refrigerator where the water hoses uh, are in this um, hole. The putty is just to make sure it insulate around the water hoses, by the way. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this cover, same way you take it off, same way you're gonna remove. On the side is a male to female slot there and then on the other side is two clips one on the uh, bottom all the way to the back and one on the top now we're going to go ahead and install this back cover Just make sure those screws are tight enough. And then next we're gonna go ahead and install the uh, water hoses. Just go ahead and put this tape the way the other one was just to keep it in place. It's not gonna be all over the place banging on the uh, back of the refrigerator. Now go ahead and attach your water hose on your water valve and make sure it's tight try not to over tighten it because if you over tighten it you're going to damage your water hose and you're going to have to replace this piece or the whole filter housing again now we're going to go ahead and install the water hose from the uh, um, house water valve to the uh, water hose on the refrigerator again i'm using two press your wrench again just hand tight don't over tight anything grab your uh, back bottom, uh, bottom panel just make sure you align it the way it was uh, quick tip go ahead and take pictures before you remove anything Make sure those three uh, male to female attachments are in place. If you don't put this back panel the way it is, maybe the vibration starts making noise. You don't want that to happen. So again, take pictures before you remove or record what you're doing to avoid doing the job twice. Install all your 516 screws with your screwdriver or your drill at this point, we're pretty much done. Next thing, open your water valve. Be careful with this water valve. Sometimes they start leaking. If it's leaking, go ahead and adjust um, anything that is leaking. Rearrange your water lines and your electric cord. Sit it in place. Push it back. And now we're testing it. 
yes with the uh, bypass at this point we don't have the water filter in place yet and it's working perfect now we're gonna go ahead and install our new filter if you're doing a brand new filter housing my suggestion is my suggestion is put a brand new filter in to avoid any confusion again just dump about five cups of water just to get the air out of the line and that's it thanks for watching if this video helped you in any way please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future videos Thanks for watching.